Hey, welcome today. What we're going to talk about is what I believe really one of the most important things and one of the biggest things that's probably holding you back from more success with your internet business and increasing your frustration to the point where you're really not making any progress. When I started out and even over the past number of years, what would happen is I would have a little bit of success in doing one thing. For example, I'd go into one market and promote some affiliate products or something like that. This is a few years ago. And then the next thing you know, I was diversifying into another market and another market and another market. And what I found is when I started out, I had all these good ideas and all this information in my head. I went into all these markets and really didn't make enough money to even do much anything except cover off all my expenses. And then what finally happened is I started to realize this is dumb. I'm in like all these markets, I'm making no real progress, I'm frustrated. Not only that, I had a full-time job where I was a pastor and so my time was totally limited and I, I felt like I was stuck. So we consolidated all of that, focused on one thing and that one thing allowed me, that one internet business allowed me to go full-time and then eventually we were able to sell it. And the biggest problem you're having right now is your time is limited and you got all these ideas in your head and yet you're overwhelmed because there's so many strategies out there you can use and yet at the same time you're insecure and you're worried because if you focus on one thing and it doesn't work well now you're a year down the road and you failed what do you do here's what you do it's what I call the three ones okay one 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 First thing you got to do is stick with one market until you're at the very least making a thousand dollars a month. Look, because here's the deal. If you can't make a thousand dollars a month in one market, then don't diversify and think you need to go into 10 markets because it's a skills issue at this point, okay? Meaning that your skill level is not quite at that thousand dollar a month capacity yet. Second thing you've got to do is stick with one sales funnel. Now this is vitally important. Here's what a lot of people will do. They will go into one market and then they'll be like, okay, what do I need to do? All right, well, I'm gonna start an e-commerce site in that market and then I'm gonna start like an affiliate site where I'm just gonna promote affiliate traffic and then I'm gonna create my own ebook and then um, let's see what else I can do. I can start selling services in that market and you see they get like going to technically one market but going like 10 different directions nothing is connected. One market, one sales funnel that's completely connected and one traffic source. Now here's what happens. When I say one traffic source, here's what a lot of people do. I'll say like, I'll tell some people, a lot of people, for example, like, hey, you know what? Bing ads is a great traffic source. And then they'll go on there and they'll get like 50 visitors a day. They'll get 1500 clicks a month or something, a thousand clicks a month. And they'll be like, well, there's hardly any traffic here. And my reaction always is this. Well, if you can't make any money or a profit or at least double your money on a thousand or fifteen hundred clicks out of a smaller traffic source, why are you even thinking about going after a bigger traffic source like AdWords or something like that? If you can't make it on a thousand visitors a month and at least double or triple your money, it's a skill issue. You need to be focusing on that. You need to be focusing and going, okay, my best traffic source in this market, even if it's the small skills, maybe Facebook ads or maybe Bing ads or whatever it is, you need to focus on that until you're profitable on a small scale. Here's what a lot of people will do. What they will do, and I did this, I used to do this all the time. They'll get a little bit up and they'll get a little frustrated and be like, well, I can only get a little bit of traffic on this source. I'm gonna to go to the next source and the next source and then they get five sources because psychologically when you feel busy, you feel like you're making progress and you're always discovering new things when you try all these new traffic sources, right? And so this like, your emotions are like, oh, this is great, we're gonna make some progress, this is awesome. And so you have this sense of hope. Well, the problem is hope in the raw is not a strategy, it can be very dangerous because Psychologically, you're like, I want to try all these traffic sources, but strategically, the smart thing to do is to press through the one you're on that you know is the best one for your market, whether it be Facebook ads or maybe it's AdWords or Bing or whatever. And you press through to the point of profitability, even if it's on a small scale, because that now means you've mastered that to some degree, right? And once you've mastered that, now you can expand it by just opening up your budget, right? By going like, hey, my budget's five bucks a day. 
Let's throw it at 30 bucks a day now that I'm good and profitable. Or now that I'm good and profitable, I'm paying, I can leverage that to maybe AdWords or Facebook or banner ads or whatever it is you can do. So calm down, stop being so frustrated and discouraged and stop being so scared that if you focus on one thing and it doesn't work, you're going to be a failure. That's poverty mindset. You need to focus on one thing and go, I will master this until I get it. And then once I do that, because of my success with this one thing I'm gonna focus on, I then will leverage that to the next thing, okay? That's the best strategy you need to focus on. In my experience, and I'll tell you this, if I wouldn't have done this all of those years ago, I would have never been able to go full-time, not even close. I'd still be struggling. So focus on that and realize it's gonna take all the burdens off your shoulder, help you have clarity, Hopefully you're going to have a lot more success a lot faster. Take care.